everyone today we're gonna learn how to install Macintosh OS Mavericks on an AMD computer I have AMD FX6100 CPU with the uh, Asus M5A88-M and uh, I have 8 gigs of memory and uh, I have two hard drives one running Windows 8 and another I have kept it open for the Mavericks so let's go and uh, learn how to do it first you'll have to um, go to nearish.co and uh, download nearish Mac OS, Ma OS X Mavericks 10.9 with Intel and AMD support okay that's AMD and Intel support either ways so um, here are some tutorials um, here are some guides which you can uh, read and uh, if you face any issues uh, you just follow these and uh, it's um, it's all good so yeah I have downloaded the files already and uh, these are the files we have um, OS X Mavericks DMG and uh, Win32 Disk Major in case if you don't have any Hackintosh or any um, or a real Mac um, this will help you to create a bootable USB. So let's go ahead and install it. Okay, let me just take this so that I can have the easy access. Okay, I don't want to read me. I'll just uh, launch it. Okay, uh, on Windows 8, uh, you face this issue. What I do is um, just minimize this. I'll go here, right click uh, properties, mm, compatibility, run compatibility troubleshooter. just say try recommended settings okay just program okay see that's it um, it'll work just to cancel it and uh, we'll just minimize this all right all right okay you'll have to uh, okay let me just first plug in my USB drive uh, I have uh, HP 32 GB USB. Let me just plug it in. Oops. Yeah, that's recognized. Okay, so it has recognized my um, USB drive. So it is um, this one. I have 32 gigs USB. Okay click on this small folder it will uh, open an explorer and I have mine in my so friends okay sorry Akintosh Mavericks just um, select all files here and choose uh, OS X Mavericks DMG say open yeah servicing complete existing program installed I think this is something else. Okay, cancel it. Okay, this is it. Okay, all right. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Okay, I selected my uh, DMG file and this is my USB. I'll just say right. It is physical drive. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. and yeah. It'll take some time, so I'll come back once it's done. Um, it has completed uh, creating a bootable USB. I'll uh, say okay. Exit. Okay, this is uh, the bootable USB. What we have to do is uh, restart the system. Restart. Okay. Okay, in your BIOS settings, um, go to SAT, SATA configuration, and make sure it is set to AHCI, else the Macintosh will not boot. So, escape. 
I'll just put a booster bus priority. I'll just bring this up. Renewable disk. Uh, that's my pen drive. Let's escape. I've just uh, made my 500 GB hard drive of which where I'm gonna install Macintosh as a primary first drive and my Windows 8 is on my Hitachi that is third drive so it doesn't matter I'll just say F10 click save OK I'm just going to the boot menu to ensure I boot from my pen drive. Yes, my USB is selected. Let's click on enter. Okay, here we go. So it says uh, Nourish Mavericks as the first option. I'll just select that. Nourish Mavericks. Okay, here's the interesting part. All the AMD users must type boot flag so that uh, it boots from the modified AMD kernel. Uh, the normal AMD processors you can just type AMD space minus V. People with AMD 64 bit processor type AMD 64 space minus V. And people like me who has um, FX processors type AMD FX minus V and press enter. It will give you a lot of commands. You have to be patient. So until you get the installation screen. Don't worry, it will continue, so just be patient. okay like I said it will continue okay I've selected the language as uh, English as the main language just say next okay now uh, go to utilities disk utility Okay, here's my uh, first drive, um, the 500 GB. It is entitled, so this is uh, the one where I'm going to install Mavericks. Just get a erase tab here, and uh, uh, first make sure you select the hard drive. You are in partition, partition here, and it says here as a um, master boot record. So, Mavericks will not boot when the partition map scheme is a master boot record. So, we'll have to change it to GUID. So, I'll just say two partitions, 250 GB each, and I'll just go to options. From master boot regard, I'll just select GUID partition table. Say OK. I'll just resize this to say 100 GB. 
So this one is for my OS X installation. This is the free drive of free space uh, where I can have some softwares and stuff like that. So just say apply. It's a partition. Okay, now uh, come to the uh, click on the untitled one, click on erase, say select Mac OS extended journal to partition, and I'm gonna say this OS X. Okay, so make sure you have GUID partition table selected, and the format type should be Mac OS extended journalized, and give the name whatever you want. Say erase. Say erase again. Okay, we have the hard drive erased. Okay. I'm sorry guys, I think I made a mistake here. Uh, instead of selecting one partition, I've selected two partitions. Uh, instead of selecting two partitions, I've selected one partition. Sorry, my bad. I'll just make it real quick. Mm, OS X journaled. Okay, see, apply uh, partition. Okay, um, I made a few mistakes there. Uh, sorry about that. I just made five partitions, uh, 100 GB each. Um, I just want OS X to have 100 GB. Uh, we can just delete and resize these later, and uh, I'll just say apply partition. Select OXX, click on Erase, Mac OS X journalized. Okay, just as uh... okay, it is Mac OS X journalized. Say Erase, Erase. It's done. Just close the disk utility. Say continue, agree, and uh, yeah, you can just visit um, the Rage's Facebook page or his Twitter or um, his website for more information. Um, he's worked hard, so pay him some respect and visit his site. Okay, I have my hard drives getting listed here. I'll just come to the OS X partition. Okay, it just went somewhere here. Okay, here. OS X. Um, click on Customize. Make sure you select the bootloader as the default Chameleon standard because um, I think Chameleon E5 or Clover will not work on AMD's. That's what I've heard. And um, yeah. Graphics. Click on graphics enabler because if you just click on this, it says uh, enables most NVIDIA and ATA graphic chipsets. So um, install audio driver, network driver, fake SMC. Yes, you have to click on this. Mm, and uh, okay, these are all good. Boot flags. Okay, if you want to add your boot flags to the bootlot playlist, bootlot playlist, um, this way go and add it. And this is pre-installation. You can do it post-installation as well. Just like this. Yeah, leave it, leave it as default. Um, don't change in anything here. Uh, power management. I hope nothing is there. Yes, nothing is there. General options. Just leave it. As it is, these are the boot flags I was talking about. Just leave it as it is, don't change anything. 
Okay. Uh, okay. Chips are drivers. Where is fixed chips are cax? Yep. Should be good. Laptop drivers. Since I don't, I'm installing it on a desktop. I just untick it. OS X fixes, other optimizations, leave it as it is. So, let us say OK. Oh, make sure you select the OS X, OS X disk, and click on install. OK, now just wait around, and it's going to take a lot of time. So, be patient. I'll be back. I've booted into the Macintosh OS X Chameleon bootloader and in order to uh, boot for the first time you'll have to type some uh, boot codes boot flags so type minus x graphics enabler equals no these are case sensitive um, you'll have to type exactly how I've typed so it's minus x space g in capital letter graphics e in capital letter enabler equals n and o in caps so hit enter so your uh, Mavericks is just booting in safe mode it's gonna take a while not long just hold on There we go. I'll just select United States. Say continue. US continue. Don't transfer my information now. Continue. Apple ID, don't sign in. Continue. Are you sure you want to skip? Yes, I would. Agree. Agree. And yeah, you will ask for the name. So I'll just type my name and say enter. Names. I'll just say don't register and say continue. Skip. Okay, it's just setting up the Mac. There we go. That's my login screen. I'll hit my password, say enter. And see, that is a safe boot mode. Here we go guys, we have Mavericks on an AMD CPU. Okay, this is important, uh, if you see here, it says Nourish 124.5, do not restart or shut down, your Hackintosh is being configured. Like I said, it will get configured, it will configure itself, so you'll have to wait till, till these, you know. Uh, these are completed. So hold on. Once they're done, you're ready to use your Macintosh. Okay, it's doing some stuff. Yep, all good. So that's it, guys. Um, I'm gonna show you how to get the uh, full resolution, how to fix the graphics issues, and stuff in the next video. Thanks for watching.